Welcome to our webinar and hope you had a good day or just uh, get comfy in your office or at home. So hope you that you can enjoy the technologies that we're presenting you today. Um, actually, we are very glad today to have this great opportunity to present you our uh, latest technologies for automated GMP compliant and uh, uh, closed adherence stem cell manufacturer, quality control and sorting. My name is Chao Sheng, and I'm the product manager for the regenerative medicine portfolio at Milton Biotech. So I would like to start with the disclaimer of my presentation. So just this is very brief. Then I would like to introduce you a few key facts about Milton Biotech, especially in the cell manufacturing field. Many of you probably know that uh, we were founded in 1989. And then we actually opened our GMP manufacturing facility in Tetro, Germany in 2002. And 10 years later in 2012, we launched the Climax Prodigy as the next generation platform for commercial scale cell manufacturing. And based on this Climax Prodigy, in 2016, we further released our T cell transduction system for CAR T cell manufacturing. And then one year later, we opened our um, Milton Biotech cell factory at the headquarters in Germany, as well as in Sunnyvale, California, as grand GMP manufacturing facilities to serve our customers. So in the last 30 years, that we really have gained extensive experiences in the cell manufacturing field. Well, we will never stop our exploration in science and technology. So this brings us to today's topic, stem cells, and regenerative medicine. Now let's first look back to the history of uh, CAR T therapies. And we could easily go back to 20 years ago. But the real turning point, I believe, was in 2012, when the first inpatient CAR T treatment was proved very successful and the entire field was encouraged. The number of uh, CAR T therapy trials also started to increase exponentially worldwide. So in line with this global trend, as I mentioned in 2016, we launched the Kinemax Trilogy T-cell transduction system for cost-effective and commercial scale CAR T-cell manufacturing. And since then, the Climax Prodigy actually has been very widely used in many CAR-T research and clinical applications. Well, at the same time, other technologies from us, for example, the Max Quant Analyzer and Tidal Cell Sorter also show their great values for in-process control, quality control analysis, as well as cell sorting procedures in CAR-T applications. Okay, now let's think loudly and shift our attention to regenerative medicine. Well, as we all witnessed in recent years, this has also become a global key focus and the number of adherent stem cells, especially those proponent stem cell-based clinical trials are increasing every year. And these PFE-derived functional somatic cells have already been investigated for the treatment of macular degeneration, for Parkinson's disease, spinal cord injury, and the cardiac diseases, et cetera, in the last five years or so. Of course, we, we would have to wait and see uh, you know, the clinical data from these trials, but many people in the field, including us, believe that these PSE-based therapies will also reveal their great potential, their great values in upcoming years. Despite the great potential, well, we are also facing a lot of challenges. For example, currently, GMP compliant, cost effective, and scalable adherence stem cell manufacturing still remains a major hurdle, a major challenge for many clinical applications. Therefore, we have made a lot of effort in the past few years to try to transfer our expertise from CAR T cell manufacturing into the regenerative medicine field and have developed a, uh, some great technologies on the Climax Prodigy and Max Quant platforms for complex stem cell expansion differentiation, IGC QC analysis, and sorting procedures. Looking at the uh, general steps of proposed stem cell expansion uh, ex applications, in particular for the clinical regenerative medicine applications, well, the first step is always to qualify donors and derive somatic cells from them. And then 
reprogram these donor cells and establish multiple IPC cell lines with very stringent uh, IPC QC procedures. Here we also know that in many trials and in some countries, embryonic stem cells are also being used. Therefore, all these proposed stem cell lines have to be established very closely following the local regulation. The next step, the qualified PSC lines have to be expanded and to establish the master and working cell banks in the GMP compliant uh, environment. At last, efficient differentiation SOPs have to be developed to generate the desired, the target cell types for downstream application. There are many requirements, important requirements in these regenerative medicine applications. And among them, there are some essential ones. For example, the entire manufacture processes have to be GMP compliant. And the manufacture SOPs also have to be scalable and reproducible. At the same time, to make the cell products affordable to the patient and also uh, affordable to the healthcare system, the whole manufacturer quality control processes also needs to be very cost effective. For all these reasons, well, manufacture, manufacturing adherence stem cells and their derivatives for clinical applications is such a challenging and a complex endeavor. To fulfill all those requests I just mentioned, most of the current manufacturer process, they involve multiple very expensive and complex instruments, very skilled and experienced operators, and also high class clean rooms. Many separated and open handling steps are also involved in these workflows. At the same time, standard in process control, quality control assays are required throughout the whole manufacture process. In addition, in many applications, we know that you know, the desired popula cell population, the target cell type also needs to be sorted out and enriched in a sterile, gentle, and GMP compliant environment. So all these factors together really limit the manufacturer skill, compromise the reproducibility. At the same time, they also significantly drive up the manufacturing cost. So the same question to everyone in this field is, you know, how to make these very complex cell, cell manufacture processes more standardized, more scalable, and also more affordable to the end users. Well, here are the solutions from us. First, with the Climax Prodigy, these separated open handling steps, these multiple instruments, and the uh, skilled operators, high class, high class clean rooms, can all be integrated into one automated and closed system. And the users could also, well, you know, build their customized stem cell expansion and differentiation processes on the prodigy. Then I will actually uh, introduce you in a second in this presentation. And second, the Max Quant Analyzer. This offers standardized in-process control, quality control assays. Then this can be realized as automated flow cytometry analysis. And then, the max quant title cell sorter can also be applied to enrich for desired cell population with a very gentle, fast, and GMP compliant cell sorting technology. We will actually introduce you all these three technologies today. So let's first start with how we could automate stem cell cultivation and quality control process with the Climax Prodigy and Max Quant Analyzer. This is the functionally integrated max Prodigy platform. And together with this disposable single-use tubing set and other very important Prodigy accessories, for example, this a tube sealer and the barcode reader, the Climax Prodigy system allows uh, automated cell processing really from starting material to the final product. Upon your request, this platform could uh, perform all these handling steps. For example, sample preparation, dense gradient centrifugation, washing, medium change, et cetera, all in this closed uh, automated system. Well, at the same time, to realize our adherence stem cell expansion and differentiation process, you know, we have also developed a brand new software system on the Prodigy, which is the adherence cell culture system. And I will focus a bit more on the system. So now let's first have a look of the hardware features 
of this new adherent cell culture system on the prodigy. One of the most important features is that cell cultures can take place in two different units, the centrical unit and the external culture vessels. So first, the centrical unit or the CCU so-called, this is a part of the prodigy uh, device. So within the centrical unit, you could do adherent or non-adherent cell culture. So you could also automate uh, the cells feeding and harvesting uh, in the centrical unit. So you can see there is a uh, prodigy chamber lies inside of the centrical unit. And you can control the temperature between 4 degree to 38 degree, also the, the concentrations of CO2 and air. So basically, it works as a small incubator within the prodigy. We also have integrated a camera under the, the, the chamber in the CCU so that you could monitor the cell growth during the process. So this is also a microscope. Also, there are multiple input ports are available to the central unit, to the central unit for different medium or cell kind. So it's multiple functional unit. You know, it also works as a centrifuge during the harvesting step. So this is the CCU. But at the same time, uh, the CCU only has a 100 square centimeter surface space. So for some applications, it's big enough. But if you need a larger surface space or uh, more cell numbered, well, these external culture vessels can also be very easily connected to the prodigy via serial welding, as you can see via this tube. So I, I will explain to you in a second. So one of the uh, external culture vessels could be this big corning multi-layer cell step. Both the central unit and the external culture vessels, uh, the connection are realized by this GMT compliant and the closed tubing set TS730. By sterile welding, well, you can see there are many tubings here. So the users can apply, can connect as many bags of medium buffers reagents as they need during the manufacturing process. And you can see here the target cell bags and also these sampling pouches, they are already integrated into the tubing set. So the users can very conveniently passage or quality control their cells. Also, as mentioned, external culture vessels can be connected via this tubing. So we have available valve at uh, valve 19 so that you could connect the external culture vessels to the tubing set to make these cell stacks be part of the closed system. Well, at the same time, the users could connect three of these five layer cell stack. Well, that means uh, one, 10,000 10, square centimeters surface space at one time. So this is a fairly large surface space for some manufacturers. So these are the, some hardware features of this new adherent cell culture system. Now I would like to shift your attention to the adherent cell, cell culture software. Well, the biggest challenge that we are facing here is that there are so many different adherent cell types and we really want to make sure that our system is flexible enough to cover most of the demands. Well, that's, that's the reason why we modularized individual cell handling steps in the system. And you can find these different modules at the starting menu, at the main menu of the adherent cell culture system. The users can freely select different modules and combine them in different orders. So this way, offers a great degree of flexibility to really adapt those complex uh, established manual SOPs or protocols into this automated and closed system. It's like a puzzle game. You pick up different puzzles, different pieces, and put them together into a different picture. So coming back to this uh, process scheme that I introduced you earlier, so with all these different steps, now you may notice that all these handling steps can be reflected by the different modules designed in the human cell culture system. And also within each module, you can set up all the important cultivation parameters upon your request. So this applies to all the modules. I just want to give you one example for the coating module. There, that you can set up the coating temperature, you can set up the coating time, the volumes of your coating reagent. And then you will also have an overview in the summary page. You can see all the parameters you have set it up. And then you could either choose OK to proceed or choose undo to reset your parameters if you decided to change anything. OK, so throughout the whole cell manufacturer process, you know, the Max Quang family 
for example, this MaxQuant Analyzer 10, this could support you with automated flow cytometry, IPC, QC assist. But this instrument offers a lot of automated operational features from startup to shutdown, also including the washing steps. This MaxQuant Analyzer takes on labeling and processing of the samples. At the same time, they really standardize the initialization with automated calibration and compensation. Well, the accurate volumetric cell count can also be performed uh, on the samples, and this does not require any addition of further beats. So here I listed, I highlighted three key features of this MaxQuant analyzer. So first, to automate the acquisition and analysis of IPC QC assays, we offer several on-demand express mode packages. So these express mode packages, they are algorithm-based gating tools that can be added to the max quantify software. And this will allow for unbiased and the user in independent analysis. This could result in reproducible flow cytometry data. So if you need an express mode for your specific IPC QC application, we could also customize the express mode to your data analysis. Please just get in contact with us if you need any specific request. The second is this smart game technology. This could you know, allow you to perform multi-instrument multi alignment for consistent and reliable measurements from one instrument to another, no matter of the operator or the location. So it's actually a very cool technology. In addition, our software also help you with the documentation. The Max Quantify 21 CSR Part 11 software delivers everything from audit trial to a good user and drone management system, which is necessary to validate the system compliantly. So this is the uh, Max Quant Analyzer. In terms of the flow cytometry reagents, we have developed this reaffinity recombinant antibodies here. So by uh, its recombinant regeneration, well, these antibodies could really bring reproducible data with their high loss to loss consistency. Meanwhile, they also reduce the background signals with their modified FC region. So in addition, we also condense all the isotype controls to one universal IgG1 backbone. So we can provide the customized antibody cocktails. Yeah, so this could be designed for your IPCQC applications to really streamline your workflow. Meanwhile, the same express dried antibody cocktails, uh, dried antibody cocktails could really also bring the defined panels in ready to use single test tubes. So this could help you to reduce your manual workflow complexity and diminish the errors. All in all, the MaxQuant Analyzer 10 brings optimal instruments, the software, and also uh, reagent features to enhance your IPC QC in stem cell manufacturing workflows. So just to give, uh, give you an overall picture. So our goal here is to combine our widely used Kinemax Prodigy platform and the GMP compliant uh, closed tuning set with this very flexible adhering cell culture software system, the Max GMP cell culture medium cytokine growth factor, as well as the Max Quant Analyzer and the Reaffinity antibodies. So we could support the entire stem cell uh, manufacture quality control processes for various adherent stem cell types. Well, in fact, we have already established a number of key stem cell manufacturer workflows with our Kinemax Prodigy and the Max Quant Analyzer. So I want to give you a few examples. So as I just mentioned, in recent years, a number of influential purported stem cell clinical trials have been initiated. Yeah, at the moment, all these trials are still at a very early phase and the cell manufacture, cell culture processes are done mainly manually at a very small life scale. And only limited numbers of patients are involved in these trials, at least in most of the cases. So looking at the next steps in these trials, we really want to uh, facilitate their transition from small scale manufacture you know, to large scale manufacture with when you know, more patients are involved in their trials and when higher cell doses are needed. Therefore, we have established uh, several uh, stem cell workflows in our automated and closed system 
to manufacture, to do quality control, and to do sorting for proponent stem cells and their derived dopaminergic progenitors and cardio mouse cells. So first, for the PSG-related application, we have developed two different genome frame medium for high-quality human proponent stem cell expansion. Well, first, the STEMX IPC blue genome frame medium. This is a very cost-effective cost research-grade medium. And in this experiment, you can see two IPC clones were expanded for 20 passages in this medium. And we can observe a very stable doubling times during this long-term cultivation period. Meanwhile, if you want to transfer your protocol, translate your protocol into a GMP compliant uh, protocol, then you could simply switch to the IPC blue GMP medium. This is the GMP compliant medium and manufactured following the guidelines of ISO 13485. And this GMP grade IPC blue medium is based on the same formulation as the research grade medium. So performance wise, these two give rise to very similar result. This will allow you to have very seamless transition from research grade to GMP compliant human cultivation process. And then using the max quant analyzer and the reaffinity antibodies for key propotency markers, we have developed this multicolor flow cytometry immunophenotyping protocol. Analysis done at passage 5, 10, 15, and 20 showed persistently high expression levels of these propotency markers, including proven 60, FAZ4, 5, OX4, SOX2, and almost no expression uh, of the differentiation marker, ICSC1. You can actually, after the webinar, you can request this uh, presentation as a PDF. We have inserted the uh, hyperlinks, so you can directly click the link here and download this application sheet directly. So after the checking on the proponency markers, we also tested the trilimity differentiation potentials. So this is also this was also accessed at passage 5, 10, 15, and 20 using the STEMX trilinear differentiation kit, this one. Yeah, so this kit supports direct differentiation of PSDs into all three germ layers based on lineage specific complete medium. And the quantitative flow cytometry analysis on the max quant analyzer again showed that these PSDs have very stable capacities to differentiate into mesoderm to mesoderm, endoderm, and exoderm derived somatic cell. The trilateral differentiation capacities are also tested and qualified. Well, GMP confined PSD expansion and the standard flow cytometry QC analysis can be achieved using our GMP medium and max quant analyzer. Well, now the question is if we can transfer this manual process into the closed and automated ClinMax pathology at human cell culture system. Well, I probably, you probably can already guess the answer. Well, this is yes. And we have already summarized uh, our protocol, our data, and the technical details in an application sheet here. Again, uh, we have the hyperlinks there. So afterwards, you can just click here and download it directly. This is an overview of this prodigy based proposing stem cell expansion process. With the human cell culture system, as you can see on the right hand side, the users can select and combine various modules from the system to automate all these very complex manual handling steps. For example, the coating, seeding, medium change, self splitting, packaging, harvesting, etc. So all can be automated with these modules. And in the end, you could use the trilinear differentiation kit and the max quant analyzer, reaffinity antibodies for standard flow cytometry QC analysis. So to determine the quality of the proponent stem cells uh, expanded in the prodigy at human cell culture system, we have performed side-by-side -side comparison between manual process and the prodigy process. Basically here, dark blue versus light blue, so prodigy versus manual control. Looking at the expression levels of these key propotency markers, these two groups give rise to very, very comparable, very similar results. At the same time, the trilineage, the trilineage differentiation potentials of the PSCs expanded on prodigy are also very comparable to the manually expanded cells. In addition, on the right-hand side, you can see by using the prodigy chamber, the 100 square centimeter chamber, 
or different sizes of external culture vessels, one layer of sacs, two layer, five layers of sacs, for example, the users can very easily reach different culture skill for their proposed stem cell. We know that establishing uh, gene peak rate master stem cell banks is always a major step in clinical trial. So for this purpose, the closed and automated clean microbiology at human cell culture system with unbiased QC analysis on the MaxQuant analyzer, together with our GMP compliant consumables, medium, and reagents, could be really useful for your GMP process. Not only for the expansion, the Prodigy Atheon cell culture system can also be used for automated complex CSD differentiation process, such as membrane dopaminergic progenitor cells or MSD progenitor cells, that's how we call it. So this application has been supported by a very prestigious European consortium, New Stem Cell Repair. And within the consortium, we have been collaborating with Dr. Malin Palmer and Dr. Agnes Kirkby. So you know that they have already published a really, really great protocols. But the challenge here for us is if we can very precisely adapt their original manual protocol into the prodigy system. So this is the challenge we are facing. And once again, I guess you can, you can see the answer from our end. We have successfully fulfilled this task and automated the MSDA progenitor differentiation on the prodigy. So all the technical details can be found in another dedicated application sheet, which you can download here directly. I will give the technical details here. Instead, I'd like to show you the side-by-side -side comparison results between menu and prodigy. So here, using the MaxCon analyzer and the key MSDA progenitor markers, such as FOXA2 and OTX2, these, these ones, uh, you can see that the results showed the cells differentiated on the Climax Prodigy are very comparable to the cells differentiated manually at the lab scale, with more than 80% of the cells co-expressing key positive markers, FOXA2 OTX2. Also, nearly no expression for the negative markers like PEC6, SOX1, or the potency marker OX4. At the same time, decreased expression of the proliferation marker KS67. So quality-wise, the Climax Prodigy is just as good as the original manual process. But one of our challenge is the skill. I think someone already mentioned about some question about scaling up with the prodigy. So hopefully I could uh, somehow tackle this question a bit here. So one, this is one of the advantage. So starting from 1 million IPCs after five days pre-expansion and another 16 days directed differentiation, well, we could harvest roughly three to four billion MSDA progenitor cells. And this is also highly purified MSDA progenitor. This could be translated roughly 600 uh, to 800 patient doses, considering 5 million cells per unit. So this is just an example. The users could also uh, scale up or scale it down by using a larger or a smaller external culture vessel in this process. At the same time, you know, we also did repetitive experiments. We found the results are very reducible in the Climax prodigy at the human cell culture system. But except for the dopaminergic progenitors, we are also constantly developing new applications to differentiate PSDs into other cell types that are desired in the regional medicine field. For example, we are currently developing a cardiomyocyte differentiation workflow in the prodigy at human cell culture system. There, we are using the Stemex cardio differentiation kit. So we could harvest contradicting cardiomyocytes. Unfortunately, you cannot see this small movie here. So this is the contradicting cardiomyocytes. This can be observed within only eight to 10, 10 days after differentiation. And in three different individual experiments, we can, we can observe, uh, we can achieve the differentiation efficiency between 80 to 90%. So if you have worked with cardiomyocytes, you would know actually this is very decent differentiation efficiency. And from only one of those one layer cell sets, we could already harvest roughly 100 to 200 million cardiomyocytes. Currently, we're working on further scaling up the cardiomyocyte manufacturing process by using larger cultivation uh, external culture vessels. 
Okay, so next, except for the proportions themselves, uh, the gene cell culture system is also a great fit for the mesenchymal squamal cells. So as you can see, for, for the MSC expansion, we also offer two different mediums, the research grade CEMEX MSC expansion medium and the GMP compliant MSC blue tissue medium. Those two mediums are also based on the same formulation, but the GMP medium is manufactured following the ISO 13485 guideline. And we can automatically isolate bone marrow mononuclear cells using the density gradient centrifugation module in the adherent cell culture system. So this is a special module designed for this purpose. And then after the automated uh, isolation, the users can continue with GMP compliant and scalable MSC expansion in a closed cloud system. Here we have another dedicated application sheet and later on you can download it from the PDF of this presentation. Except for the Prodigy, we also developed a MSC phenotyping kit following the recommendation of ISCG so that we can perform very stringent and standard MSC characterization using the MaxQuant analyzer and the MSC phenotyping kit. As a next step, we want to extend this MSC manufacturing process to various human tissues, including human bone marrow, umbilical cord, and adipose tissues in the prodigy. And based on the results derived from 10 different individual donors, actually we already did a lot of experiments. So we have 10 donors uh, in three different tissues. And we can see the results that we could harvest roughly up to 700 million MSCs within only 18 days and within roughly only one to two passages, uh, roughly two passages in 18 days. Also using the phenotyping kit, as I just mentioned, uh, this Max Quant analyzer showed that the resulting cells derived from all three origins are highly pure MSC cultures, which are actually well above the ISCT standard, as I also uh, indicated here. At the same time, the automated ecology system could also save a lot of the hands-on time in comparison to the manual process. Please note that you know, the, the result or the experiment I showed you here are just examples from our side. The operators can, of course, adjust the technical parameters based on their in-house SOPs. For example, by increasing the amount of starting materials or extending the cultivation time, so we have 18 days, you could culture it for three weeks, four weeks, then we would expect that the users could harvest more MSCs in the end. So I just want to briefly talk about the, the, the advantages for this, uh, of this adherent cell culture system for operators and for the decision makers in the cell and gene therapy field. First, for the operators, for the operators, well, this prodigy system could really make their life easier by reducing the hands-on time, the open handling steps, and also the failure rate. All in all, this will just get easier and safer for the operators. And for the decision makers, well, looking at the major cost of the drivers in the, cell, uh, in the cell manufacturing process, the Climax Prodigy system enables significant reduction in the capital cost and in labor cost. In more details, using the closed system, well, this, um, the GMP compliant cell manufacturing can actually take place in relatively lower class clean rooms, such as class C in, in many countries. Well, of course, this you have to communicate, you have to confirm very closely with your local regulatory authority. But in some cases, this is already true. Uh, this clean room operation, uh, you know, the, the, just move it to lower class clean rooms. This could be a major cost saver for the maintenance and the operation of the clean rooms. At the same time, automated cell handling steps also largely reduce the need and the cost for highly trained operators and training programs. Actually, this is a major cost uh, saver in the cell manufacturing field. And based on our own calculation in our own data, the product system could offer roughly 33% reduction in the capital cost and roughly 85% reduction uh, in the labor cost. And the overall resulting in roughly 40 to 50% reduction in the yearly cost of goods with the same manufacturing yield. And we think this could be some interesting information uh, for the decision makers 
when they plan, when they design their stem cell manufacture pipeline, or when they design their clinical trials. Okay, so now I also want to present you another cutting edge technology, which is MaxQuant title cell sorter. As we know that many FEC or ESC based clinical trials, they require uh, a sorting step to enrich for the target cell population. And one of the most well-known examples is the first FTC-based clinical trial for Parkinson's disease. And you probably already know this great news. This is in Japan. So uh, in this Japanese uh, IPSC trial, the biggest challenge is how to sort out the current positive cells with the GMP compliant, gentle, and fast sorting technology. In fact, title cell sorter already played an important role to address these challenges. In this, in this clinical trial in Japan. So before we go into more details, like maybe let's first have an overview of this device. So on this left, upper left hand uh, corner, you can see this title device is a benchtop instrument based on up to 10 parameters, eight Lorentz channels, and two scatter channels, which allows for a broad experimental flexibility. In addition, the sorting temperature can also be defined between four to 25 degrees within the title sorter. And the sorting process itself does not require the presence of an operator. On the corner, you can see the heart of the technology is this close and disposable max quantum title cartridge. This offers a sterile and safe sorting environment. So the cartridge contains three different chambers. The input chamber on the left, the positive sort chamber in the middle, and the negative sort chamber on the right. So during the entire sorting process, the cells will not leave this cartridge. Therefore, there's no risk for sample to sample carry over during the sorting. And the sorting process is a microchip disk, and the microchip is implemented at the bottom of the title cartridge. So there's a video actually here on the lower left. Unfortunately, we cannot play it on WebEx, so I would just briefly introduce you, explain you how the system works. Well, in contrast to the conventional sorters, which are based on droplets, the MaxQuant title uses the world's fastest microvolve to sort out cells, which can actuate up to 30,000 times per second. And in case our target cell is recognized, then the microvolve will just very gently redirect the cell into another channel, so the cell will end up in a positive sort chamber, and then the rest will flow through into the negative sort chamber. So here are the, the, the important key features of the sorter. So it's very gentle, yeah? Because in contrast to the, con the conventional droplet sorters, sorting on X-Quant title uh, ensures high cellular variability and functionality after sorting because of this gentle feature. The system runs a very, at a very low pressure. Therefore, there's no strong decompression X on the cells when entering the collection chambers. No charge applies to the cells either. There are only very, very mild shear forces on the cells uh, in the max quant title. In addition to that, this, the closed and sterile cartridge here also offers a very safe sorting environment. So there's no risk of sample to sample carry over as I mentioned, or contamination. So the users do not need to perform this very time consuming decontamination routine every time. The microchip-based system also does not produce any aerosols or droplets. Thus, this produces a very high operator safety, especially when you're uh, sorting out risky materials. Because of these unique features of the MaxQuant title, so it plays an important role in many uh, clinical trials, clinical applications. As I just mentioned, in the IPC-based Parkinson's disease trial led by Dr. Jun Takahashi in Japan, they have some very important requirements. They want to make sure the cell sorting step does not harm these chlorine positive cells. And the sorting will take place in a sterile environment. And after the sorting, these dopaminergic progenitors also need to show very good survival rate and the functionality. The MaxQuan title fulfill all these important requirements. In fact, last year at the ISCR annual meeting, our R&D scientist, uh, Dr. Sebastian Kenobo and uh, Dr. Daisuke Toy from Cyber Japan had a joint presentation. So in comparison to other cell sorters, 
MX Quant title sorter is one is the one and only instrument which runs with GMP compliant consumables and operates in a fully closed system. Looking at the functionality of the resulting dominatic progenitor cells, that you know when they sorted on the title sorter, they showed higher post survival rates, higher uh, like more final yield, and also increased neural fiber outgrowth. In addition, reduced sorting time can also be uh, achieved using the title sorter in comparison to the other devices. Last but not least, all the consumables that are needed for the sorting process, including the title cartridge, the MaxCon title running buffer, or the fluorescence antibodies, they are all available in both research grade as well as max GMP grade. In addition, our max GMP uh, products, these max GMP grade products, they always come with very extensive documentation, which could support the users to translate their protocols into clinical settings. With the max GMP title consumables, everything touches the cells is provided in its GMP, uh, max GMP format and have very expensive documentation. You could actually click here in the PDF and you can you will get in the end if you uh, you can ask us so we will send you the PDF. Uh, you can actually also directly download the Max GMP title consumable flyer if you're interested. As I just mentioned, the dopaminergic progenitor sorting on the title, but this is only one exemplar application. The Max Quant title can also be used to sort out the other cell types in the regenerative medicine field. Our in house data already showed that you know, the user could use the title to sort out a very broad range of stem cells and their derivatives including the IPSCs, MSCs, HSCs, as well as new progenitors and the cardiomyocytes, cells, et cetera. So we are already at the end of the presentation. So I'd like to acknowledge our funding resources and our great collaborators. And finding more detailed information, please click on the links for, uh, I showed you here. Actually, in the, this links will work in the PDF, I believe. So you can click on the links for Clinimax Prodigy, Achilles Cell Culture System, the Max Quant Analyzer, and the Max Quant Title Cell Sorter to find more information. You could also get in, in contact with our colleagues in your region, in your country, so that we will be very happy to support you with your project. In particular, actually next week on the 28th and 29th of May, we will give virtual demos for the Clinimax Prodigy Achilles Cell Culture System. So if you want to see the Climax Prodigy in action, and you want to find out how this new adherence cell culture system works for the expansion differentiation of material stem cells, well, you can just click here on the link and register for our virtual demos on next Thursday and Friday. Thanks a lot for your attention.